The following message by Pastor Dennis Clark and Dr. Jennifer Clark is brought to you by Full Stature Ministries and its supporters. For more information about Full Stature Ministries, please visit forgive123.com. That's forgive123.com. Baby dedication? Could I have Jason? You know, as God commanded, talking about generational, this is my son, Jason, this is my granddaughter, and that's my daughter, and generationally, I just believe that the Spirit of the Lord is going to accomplish those purposes, that even the things and the anointings that were unfulfilled in my life will be accomplished through, through them, and even the things un, not accomplished through them will be accomplished through that. Did you know that God does it generationally? That we don't think generationally, we think in our timetable, but God thinks generationally. Do you know that Abraham planted a tree a tamarisk tree that basically would do him absolutely no good. It's such a slow growing tree, but he did it as a signal to the generations. Isn't that beautiful? To have that kind of a generational mindset. Well, I just believe that what, what God has done is he, there's a generational blessing that's coming forward and it's going to go forward into the generations and those things that were left unfinished. David wanted to build a house for God, but who did it? Solomon. Okay, God thinks that way. And he's just saying, I'm not punishing you, David. It's just that I want others to be part of what I'm doing from beginning to end. And I can still remember when Jason was real young. This is the part he don't like. When he was real little, he was reading his Bible and tears were flowing from his eyes. And I go, what are you reading? And I'm going, the begats. I'm going, you're, you're crying, reading, and so-and-so begat so-and-so, and so-and-so. That's the kind of stuff we kind of like skip over. And he goes, I said, what do you see? Tell me, what's God speaking to you? And he goes, I see family, and I see generations of family. And that's what God wants to do. He wants that blessing to go from generation to generation. All right? So we're going to, <clears throat> we're going to begin here by believing that God the Father is going to... I'm too excited for this. They should have had someone else do this. <laughs> That's haven. Jennifer, come on up, because I'm going to eventually ask for them that they are doing the same thing this morning as Jochebed did with Moses. She nurtured her, cared for her. That Moses' mother. Moses's mother. Okay. Jesus' mother, Mary, brought Jesus to the temple for that dedication. And we see that Hannah brought young Samuel and gave him to the Lord as a deposit. And the key thing that we need to remember in dedicating a child is that we do not own them. We're a steward. And we have twofold responsibility, and these parents have a twofold responsibility to raise her in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. And the nurture and the admonition of the Lord basically means that as you identify her individual strengths, you nurture those strengths. And as you see their weaknesses, you admonish them that this is a weakness. Watch out for this. And so the strengths and the weaknesses of each individual child might be made known to them that they would grow in the plans and the purposes of God. So at this point, I'm just going to ask the parents. Okay. Oh, hold on. Yes, it is. Testing. Do you receive to raise this child in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord? We do. Yes. We do. Then upon the profession of your faith, we pray by the laying on of hands that every good thing generationally that has ever passed down the family line be imparted to her and that you would cause her to move forward in the things and the plans and the purposes of God and that she makes the, the choices to choose God in the days ahead. With all of our heart and soul and mind, we pray for her. In Jesus' name, amen. I want the pastors to come up. Uh, if Cliff can leave the soundboard somehow. Okay. I want to give prophetic words. I got to start, though. I'm too excited. <laughs> Just took the microphone away from her. 
I don't need it. I've got my own. <laughs> but the Spirit of the Lord is just uh, raised up within me when I would think of Haven, that that name is going to be a refuge and a city of refuge and a place of trust, that even in her generation, there's going to be people that are going to come to her and want to be under the shadow of her protection. She's going to have a magnetic draw on people in her life as she lives for the Lord with all her heart and with all her soul. She's going to have a steadfast devotion to Jesus, and she's going to be a, a model in her generation of one who's going to attract, almost as a city of refuge was in the Old Testament, she's going to be a haven for the weary and the hurting. And she's going to have a comfort about her. There's a, an anointing on this. She's going to have a comfort that's going to comfort beyond measure. It's going to be the supernatural comfort, just as we've been comforted by our times of affliction. She's going to know how to comfort them with that same anointing. She's going to have a mantle of peace, and she's going to be a, attractive like a magnet, and it's going to draw to the to the weary, to the unsettled, to the emotionally unstable, even will be drawn to her, and they will find deliverance, health, and healing. She's going to be a strength that her gifts of the spirit are going to be that she's receiving even right now from the family line she's receiving a spirit of wisdom and revelation that wisdom is going to be the principal thing in her life and that many many superior in intellect to her will come to her to seek out the wisdom and to sit and listen to the things that she has to say for truly the Lord says I'm giving her the wisdom of a Solomon I'm going to give her the wisdom that's going to cause the generations to look toward her both those younger than her and those older than her they're going to come to her to sit at her feet and there are going to be many scholarly and learned people in those, in those days that are going to come and they're going to be drawn and they're going to be saying for such a child, for such a woman at even an early age. And she's going to even take, uh, take the heritage from her parents and her, 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 mom, her mother's side of the family that they've been in full-time ministry, mother and father pastoring and your mother and father pastoring and all of those uh, anointings that are coming down into even the full-time ministers are going to be a blessing into that child. Whether she moves in the marketplace or whether she moves in full-time ministry, it's going to be the entire arena is going to be a sanctuary of God for her. And she's going to rejoice in the gifts of the Spirit, as a few have seen. Health and healing is going to be her parcel and also even an anointing to bring uh, rest and refreshing to other people. She's going to be like a shade tree and an oasis to the people of her friends. Even the friends that God brings alongside of her are going to be unique in that their expression is to be there for her, with her, and together they shall accomplish great exploits in the days ahead. Jennifer. And I'm hearing Esther for such a time as this, and I'm hearing that she is going to walk who's one who's got a single eye for the Lord. She's going to have dove's eyes. And I thank you, Lord, that your hand is upon her. Your hand has been upon her since conception, Lord, and that you have a significant plan and purpose for her in the days ahead. And she will bridge generations. She will, she will tie the old with the new. And I hear the Lord say that he's going to raise her up as a prophetic voice. And I hear the Lord say that he's going to place her in significant places with significant people throughout her lifetime. And she's going to have the word of the Lord. And she's going to have the wisdom that will astound them. And I'm hearing the Lord say that he's surrounding her with angels even now. That angels will order her steps. And I'm hearing the Lord say she will not go astray. This one shall not go astray. And I'm hearing even Zadok priesthood. She will be one who will draw near and minister to the Lord. Well, earlier I kept getting multiple anointings. And of course that's what Dennis and Jennifer alluded to because she has both sides of the family. And and I, I also heard the Lord saying that um, even as Jesus said uh, when he was tempted that there was nothing in him. And that's the way it's going to be with Haven. As she grows, the temptations will not overtake her because there'll be nothing in her. There will be that innocence and that purity that, um, that her generation is going to carry of those who know the Lord. And it's going to be something that maybe we haven't even seen before uh, that she's going to carry. Well, this, this morning when I was asking the Lord what he had, what he had for Haven, he reminded me that she was born in a pool. She was born in water and that she's going to be one that's going to be like the people in Ezekiel where the water raised up and up and up and up, that she will actually swim and be in that water and that everywhere she goes, she's going to bring that water that's going to flow from the temple, that everywhere she brings, she goes, she's also going to be in that pool of healing, that pool of healing, that there'll be angels surrounding her and that she will bring healing at every step that she takes. And the Lord says that she is a prophetic symbol 
of the times, that this is a new day, it's a new way, and that God is pleased. Amen. So I was getting based on your name, Haven, that it's going to be a close relationship between you and God. And I was getting that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall remain stable and fixed from Psalm 91. And I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, and in him I will trust. So you're going to have a trust and a closeness and a walk of your relationship with God that is going to be something that other people are going to come under for safety, protection, and also that that's going to be the place where you come out of it to accomplish the purposes that God has for you, for your generation. I just hear the Lord say that you are a fiery one. Oh, that's going to walk in a strength and in a peace that's going to be like quenching the fiery darts of the enemy. That this is a warrior that he's put forth on this earth for this time and for this season, for this generation. Whoa. We're going to lay hands. I want you to just extend a hand toward her. Father, right now we just release we release godly protection and that she's going to grow strong in the things of God and the choices that she makes and enters into all of the godly blessings in the family line. And she's going to walk in strength and power and she's going to move even, move even higher in the realms of the spirit than all her predecessors in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yes. And Grandpa gets to present her to the congregation. This is Haven Elise Clark. Yep, she likes eyes. Look at all those eyes looking at you, sweetie. Huh? Yep. All right. been listening to Pastor Dennis Clark and Dr. Jennifer Clark of Full Stature Ministries at forgive123.com. Full Stature Ministries reserve all copyright protections under applicable law. Our copyright policy is available at our website, forgive123.com. For more information about Full Stature Ministries and additional life-transforming materials, please visit forgive123.com.